Welcome to the VST Startup Contractor Training for the U.S. version of the Green Machine. In this video, we'll be covering testing and startup. This video was prepared as a quick review for contractors who are starting up or commissioning the VST U.S. Green Machine. It is not intended to replace the Installation, Operation, Maintenance, and Troubleshooting Manual, also known as the IOMT Manual, that is provided with the Green Machine. Refer to the IOMT Manual for full information and detailed engineering drawings. You may find it helpful to print Chapter 6 of the Installation, Operation, Maintenance, and Troubleshooting Manual so that you can follow along with the video. Okay, let's get started. But first, safety. The green machine will be installed near locations where highly flammable and explosive gasoline vapors may be present. Installation of the green machine must comply with the National Electric Code, federal, state, and local codes, as well as other applicable safety codes. Use extreme caution due to the risk of fire or explosion, which could result in serious injury or even death. If you're working in an area where vehicle traffic may occur, always block off the work area during installation, testing, and service to protect yourself and others. Do not use power tools that can generate sparks if there is a risk of flammable or explosive vapors being present. Read and understand all materials related to installing, testing, and operating the green machine prior to installation. When the VST control panel is first powered up for startup, the main screen will show alarm and will have a message stating that the green machine is disabled. The code this message is referring to will be provided upon completion of the startup contractor checkout form, also known as Appendix B. The startup and Appendix B sections of this manual are very closely linked, so both sections will be covered in this video. Before beginning, you must be sure to have both the green machine and the control panel prepared for testing. Next, close the three-way valve below the pressure sensor. The valve is closed when the handle is horizontal. Close the three ball valves between the green machine and the vent risers. Then, remove the caps from the three T's. Turn the power switch to the on position at the control panel and at the main distribution panel. Once the PLC has booted up, push the maintenance screen button to access the password screen. The password for this model of the control panel is 878. Once this password is entered, you will arrive at the maintenance screen. Make sure the maintenance switch is on at the control panel. Finally, before testing can begin, VST recommends that you check off items in Appendix B as you complete them. Bump test. The purpose of the bump test is to ensure that the vacuum pump motor is rotating in the correct direction when the green machine is running. Note that this test requires two people one to initiate the test, and the other to observe the rotation of the pump. The person initiating the test should begin at the maintenance screen on the control panel. The first step is to push the Vac Pump Bump button. A screen will pop up asking for confirmation. Once confirmed, the second person observing the rotation of the pump will see the pump begin to turn for five seconds. The desired direction of rotation is noted on the vacuum pump with a sticker. If the pump and motor are turning in the correct direction, the test is completed. However, if the direction of the rotation is incorrect, the polarity of the motor must be switched. This is done by interchanging two wires within the motor junction box. After switching the polarity of the motor, be sure to run the bump test again to verify the pump and the motor are turning in the correct direction. Functionality test. 
The functionality test is the most comprehensive test that exists for the green machine. In passing this test, the green machine will demonstrate that everything internally is functioning correctly. Before beginning the functionality test, be sure that all lockable ball valves between the green machine and the vent risers have been closed. All caps from the three T fittings have been removed and that the three-way ball valve below the pressure sensor is turned to the off position. To begin the functionality test, start on the maintenance screen, then push the F2 button below the PLC screen. On the left-hand side of the screen, you will see a button to start the test. Once this button is pressed, you'll be prompted to confirm the functionality test. Push confirm and the test will begin. The green machine will begin its run mode. This mode will last for 60 seconds before the purge mode begins and then the cycle will start again with the run mode. There are five cycles pre-programmed into the functionality test so you can expect the green machine to run for about 10 minutes before automatically turning off. During the run mode Place your hand over each open T fitting. You should feel the following. Suction at the vapor inlet T. Air blowing from the air outlet. And no blowing or suction from the vapor return. If there is suction or air blowing from anywhere unexpected, refer to the troubleshooting section of the Green Machine Manual in Chapter 8. During the purge mode, Place your hand over each open T fitting. You should feel the following. No blowing or suction at the vapor inlet T. No blowing or suction from the air outlet and air blowing from the vapor return. Again, if there is suction or air blowing from anywhere unexpected, refer to the troubleshooting section of the Green Machine Manual in Chapter 8. Once you have confirmed these air flows, the functionality test is complete. If there is still time on the test, you may press the F4 button to end it early. At this point, return the green machine to its pre-functionality test state by doing the following. Return all three caps to the T's, the ball valves back to open positions, and put the cover back onto the green machine. Overfill protection. The green machine uses a dry vacuum pump to control pressure in the underground storage tanks. This pump is sensitive to liquid and can be destroyed if liquid fuel makes its way into the pump. So it is important that the green machine and the VST control panel be made aware when there is an overfill related to a fuel delivery. The fuel management system at every GDF has an overfill alarm. This alarm is used by the VST control panel to stop the green machine from running. Each fuel management system is different, but the requirements for programming the overfill alarm are the same for each. The electrical contractor has already installed the overfill alarm wires between the VST control panel and the output module on the fuel management system. The VST control panel supplies 24 VDC to this normally open overfill alarm relay. The overfill alarm relay is to close at 90% tank level. This relay closing will cause the green machine to go into alarm and will prevent the green machine from running for two hours until after the overfill condition ends. When programming the relay, label it GM overfill alarm. Overfill protection test. It is the responsibility of the startup contractor to test the overfill protection once the programming is complete. An important shortcut while testing is once the green machine is in an overfill alarm, navigate to the maintenance screen, then press the F1 and F4 buttons at the same time. A screen will pop up prompting for confirmation of manual override of the overfill alarm. Push confirm to avoid waiting the full two hours for the alarm to clear naturally. Changing the date and time. The PLC on the front of the VST control panel constantly monitors site data. It is important that the date and time displayed on the main screen be correct. To change the date and time, simply press the button on the screen containing the date and time. 
Once on the date and time interface screen, enter the date with the format month, month, day, day, year, year, and the time with the format hour, hour, minute, minute, second, second. Note that this system operates on a 24 hour or military clock. To correct entry errors, use the left and right arrow keys to move between numbers in the date and time. Once the correct date and time has been entered, press the return key to return to the main screen. Appendix B for the VST US Green Machine. In this video, we'll be covering Appendix B. Using your cell phone, tablet or computer, go to the VST website located at www.vsthose.com. Access Appendix B, click on the VST Education and Training, then go to the Green Machine section and click on USA Supporting Documents and Instructional Video. Then select the Startup Commissioning Contractor link. Click Appendix B, Startup Contractor Checkout Form. Startup Contractor Checkout Form. Now you need to populate the fields on this form, beginning with the site information. Click the field to get a list of sites. Quickly navigate to your site by entering the site number, the site name or the street address. For this example, we're using Colchester, Vermont. Once you find and select your site, the site ID, the site address, and the site phone number fields will automatically populate. If any of this information is missing or incorrect, add it or correct it now. Now, enter the contractor information. Select your company name from this list and the rest of the information will self-populate. If there is information missing from the contractor phone, name, or email, correct it now. This is the email address where the startup code will be sent. Make sure you have immediate access to this email address so that the startup can be completed and the green machine made operational. If for some reason your company name does not appear on the list, call VST. Enter the VST issued certification number that you received from completing the startup contractor quiz. Now, on to the information about the Green Machine installation itself. First, enter the startup completion date. Click the calendar icon and select the appropriate date. Next, enter the Green Machine serial number. The serial number can be found on the back side of the junction box inside the Green Machine cover and also on the outside of the cover. Once you click away from this field, if a dialog box does not pop up, you've entered the correct serial number. If an incorrect serial number is entered, this dialog box will pop up. Simply click OK and re-enter the correct serial number. If you are sure that the serial number you're entering is correct and the dialog box keeps popping up, call VST. Next, we need to record some readings from the PLC screen located on the front of the control panel. First, find the UST pressure reading on the main screen of the PLC located here. Enter that information into the field. Next, find the run cycles count located just below the pressure reading. And, just as before, record the information in the appropriate field. Next, you need to record the tank volume data. The volume of the UST can be found using the tank monitoring system at your site. The haulage can also be found using the tank monitoring system. These values are collected to determine that the tank level is within the range that allows the green machine to run. If the tank level is above 90%, the green machine will not run until the level drops below 90%. Now the tank level percentage field will auto-populate. Again, if the tank level is above 90%, the green machine will not run until the level drops below 90%. Follow the same procedure for the remaining USTs. Now on to the required testing. As you complete each of these items during startup, check the appropriate boxes for each step. 
You will not be permitted to complete the form until all of these items have been completed and checked off of this list. For the Pictures section, submit pictures of the green machine in the VST control panel. For each picture, you will find a description of the picture along with an example link. Click the link to see a sample picture of what the description is asking for. To return to the checkout form, simply X out of the picture tab. Upload your pictures from this site from your computer. If you're using a mobile device, an option will be presented to you. Upload an existing picture or take a new one. Finally, draw your signature in the Signature field. Date the form and click Submit. At this time, you will receive an email. It will contain your activation code and it will contain a PDF file of the completed Appendix B. Now let's look at how to enter the code. To enter the startup code and make the green machine operational, first press the maintenance button on the touch screen. Enter the password 878 as before to advance to the maintenance screen. Once here, press the F1 and F2 keys at the same time to access the verification code screen. Press the zeros in the center of the screen to enter your six digit code. Once you've entered the code, you will see this screen stating that the code is correct and the green machine will now run in automatic mode. Congratulations, you've completed startup. You have reached the end of this video.